Today I'm going to show you how to properly clean the cloth portion of an American girl's body. So that would be the torso itself and the stuffing inside. Whether you just got a doll second hand and you want to make sure she's properly sanitized or if you have a doll that you've owned for many years that maybe has gotten dusty or just been really loved and needs some TLC. So you can do this for dolls you're restringing or you can keep all the limbs intact and wash the torso with the limbs still on, that's up to you. I'm not going to be restringing either of the dolls I'm washing in this video today. It's more ideal if you're going to restring anyways to wash the cloth torso once everything is taken apart. I'm just going to be talking about cleaning the torso and the stuffing, not the limbs, the wig, or the rest of the doll. I already have a video on that. I'll link it down below and in the iCards if you're interested. So today, I'm going to be cleaning my childhood Felicity doll's body. I got her for Christmas in 1998, and she was very loved. Do not be deceived by how nice she looks right now. Uh, I played with her a ton, and I used to play with her outside in the woods. So her body is definitely dirty. It doesn't look as bad as it once did. I've never washed her actual stuffing, so I'm sure it's going to be pretty gross. And I also have Leah, girl of the year 2016, who I got at the flea market this past weekend. And although she looked pretty nice when I got her, she was still obviously used and quite a few years old. So I'm going to wash her too. And I chose both of these dolls because this will help you if you're dealing with an older doll who has neck strings or if you have one of the newer dolls with the zip ties, I'll show you how to handle both of this. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start with Felicity who has neck strings. So these need to be untied. Now, the first order of business is to remove all the stuffing and you're gonna want a pillowcase to put the stuffing in because the most convenient way to properly wash the stuffing itself is to just put it in a pillowcase, tie a knot, and put it in your washing machine. I have tried like hand washing the stuffing in the past before and it takes forever to dry and it just doesn't do a really good job. And you can even toss the stuffing in the dryer because it's no different than a stuffed animal. Now depending on how old your doll is um, and how much they were knotted it might be more difficult. So I like to use something flat like a little screwdriver. You want to be careful, you don't want to like go too aggressively because you can accidentally separate out the fibers. But you want something small enough to kind of get in there and help you loosen the knot. And they are usually double knotted. If you have really um, sharp fingernails, you probably don't even need this, but I never have long fingernails. So you're gonna take the head off and then kind of like loosen it up. She was actually triple knotted. And um, I made sure to pick two different pillowcases so I would know whose stuffing was whose. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the old dolls are probably gonna have a little bit more stuffing, but it's the same thing. So I'm just gonna take it out and load it all up. You wanna make sure to get all of it. And you'd be surprised how much comes in an American Girl. Also, um, if you just wanna replace the stuffing, that's definitely an option too. You can just use like polyfill or whatever. I know some people like to just replace the stuffing. I wash it though. And once all the stuffing is out, you're gonna have just the empty body. Um, and like I said, this is where if you're going to be restringing them, you would want to cut off all of the limbs here. But I do not need to restring my Felicity very impressively. She actually still is factory strong and is still reasonably tight. We're just going to move that aside. Now for di dolls with zip ties, I, have, I don't have as many of these in my collection and I haven't had to take many of them apart so it's still something I'm learning to finesse with but you're going to need a little seam ripper or something to cut the thread so you can see where the seam on her back is. The zip tie is actually like sewn into 
the back of the neck, so you're going to need to like open it up. It is really, really tight, so it gets very difficult to get in here, and you need to be really careful because you need something sharp enough to cut the zip tie, but you have to be careful not to scratch the plastic. You want to be really careful of that. So I have these wire cutters. And there we go. Now her head's off. So now you have to work out the rest of the zip tie because you can't reuse it. You will need a replacement zip tie or you can buy neck strings. Some people replace them with neck strings. It's really whatever you prefer. And you can see how little itty bitty it is. So you'll need a pretty small replacement zip tie. I'm just gonna put another zip tie on her later because I bought some when I had to fix my Kanani doll whose neck strings were actually cut off. So that is something too, if your doll has cut off neck strings, you can replace them with a zip tie. And we're just gonna do the same thing with Leah. We're gonna empty all of her stuff into a different colored uh, pillowcase. So I know she has a Harry Potter pillowcase. Both of their bodies are empty of the free of stuffing. I already washed um, Leah's limbs and Felicity looks pretty clean. You can wash the cloth torso before or after the limbs if you want, it really, like it doesn't matter. You need a container to put the bodies in. Now you're probably thinking, what about the hollow limbs? Aren't, isn't water gonna get inside? Uh, it will, but you can always shake it out. It's not the end of the world. I do this all the time and I just, you'll hear the water sloshing around. You just make sure to shake it really good, but we'll get to that part when I'm ready to hang them to dry. So that's why if you're gonna restring them, it's easier just to wash the body when they're apart because then you don't have to worry about that, but you absolutely don't have to take them apart. So you're gonna need laundry detergent. I uh, homemade laundry detergent because I don't really use store-bought laundry detergent, but you can use like whatever brand you want. Just make sure if you're using like dyed laundry detergent, you know, if it's blue, make sure you don't like pour it directly on the bodies because sometimes that dye can stain things. But as you can see, mine has no color. So I'm gonna put it in there. And now I'm gonna fill this up just enough so that the bodies are covered. And I'm gonna make sure all my laundry detergent is broken apart. Now you can use cold water, hot water, whatever you want. If they're stained, if say somebody doodled on the torso, which my Kanani doll was colored on when I got her at the flea market, uh, you can put OxyClean or any kind of stain removal product in here. Obviously you don't want to use like bleach because that'll discolor the torsos. But yeah. And these um, torsos don't bleed. They're basically like a muslin, so you don't have to worry about the dyes bleeding. And you can see the water is already kind of a funky color, probably from Felicity's body. So I'm just gonna leave these guys to sit for a while. Depending on how dirty the doll is, you'll want them to soak maybe a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna get their stuffing going and then I have some chores to do around the house. So probably like an hour of them soaking. Okay, so now it's time to wash the stuffing. I have my Felicity pillowcase and I have my Leah pillowcase. I apologize for the lighting room in my basement. There's one light bulb that lights this room up. I personally put a little bit of detergent in each bag just to make sure. But um, you don't have to do that. I, I just, I'm a little extra like that. And then the really important part is you want to knot this well because you need it to stay in the bag through the washer and dryer cycle. And you can just toss them in with a load of laundry. Doesn't matter what you put them in with because it's stuffing, it's not gonna matter. And again, you can put it on whatever setting you want depending on what you're washing. I'm just washing some jeans and towels. So this is a cold water cycle. And then I'll put a little laundry sanitizer in here just to air on the safe side. But you don't have to do that. You can put vinegar in, whatever. 
And there you go. Now it's just gonna go through the cycle and once it is done, I'm just gonna throw it in the dryer and you don't have to do anything else to wash it. So the bodies have soaked for a little while. And now I'm going to rinse them really well. have water in them. Nope, no water. You would be able to hear it. Sounds like sloshing. And she doesn't have any water in her lungs either. And I'm just hanging the girls out on a drying rack outside because it's really sunny and drying in the sun's not going to hurt them. Usually I put them in front of the fan but they will dry much faster. So Felicity stuff, it needs a little bit more time in the dryer, but we is, is all set. So this part is the most difficult because you really have to make sure you pack all of the stuffing in really well. One of the mistakes that is common to make the first time you take it apart in American Girl is that you don't put enough stuffing in the butt. And then what ends up happening is you can't fit all the stuffing back in the body. So the goal is to get the booty as big as possible and really spend your time packing it in because you need to be able to get the head to sit inside the neck hole. If there's too much stuffing there, that's not gonna work. This also though helps when you restuff a doll. It helps them um, kind of reshape them. If you've had an American Girl for many years, you might notice that they kind of almost expand with time. They almost get fatter, so they can't fit certain clothes as well. Uh, and by restuffing them, it actually helps make them look almost appear skinnier, and they can fit clothes better. That's why I can get a lot of my childhood dolls um, into newer outfits, like the uh, Pleasant Company stock dolls, who usually had um, more stuffing because I restuffed them at some point. So yeah, you really want to make sure that this is filled and they have a lot of stuffing so it's gonna feel like it's never ending. And it's important to flip the doll around a few times while you're doing this so that it's not lumpy anywhere. And as you get to the last bit of stuffing you can kind of fill in around the shoulder region not too much, but just enough. And I always spend a little bit of time just making sure that the shape is right. So for Leah, I need to put the zip tie in. So I'm just fed it through, but I haven't tightened it yet. So we're going to get the head. I did um, wash her hair again while her body was washing because her hair was kind of dry. So then you want to seat the head in. And um, honestly, it helps if their head is like backwards. So you don't have to worry about the hair. 
and it's a little bit easier with a zip tie to get the head tight so you want to make sure it's pushed down and straight and then you can kind of make little adjustments and tighten it up all the way and there you have it um, you can always stuff the zip tie back inside this, the little um, sleeve here and sew it back, but I don't. I always keep it with the little zip tie sticking out, just in case I need to get back in there for some reason. Okay, so I stuffed Felicity's body the same way. And we're going to put her head on backwards too. And you want to make sure that it's pushed, the head is pushed pretty low, and there's no stuffing sticking out because um, you want the head to be on really securely. So this is kind of where it gets tricky. Just gonna knot it once. So you wanna make sure to get it tight, which obviously takes some finessing. Double knot it. And there you go. Uh, my recommendation, if you have white body dolls, they have really um, crappy neck strings. They're really like thin and prone to breaking. So I kept the neck strings in but slid a zip tie inside too. So they're actually, my Samantha and Molly are actually closed with zip ties, but they have their original strings. I'll show you what I mean. So this is my sister's white body Molly. These are really, really thin and fragile. My Samanthas are actually even flatter and more like shoelaces. So um, they're very prone, especially when they get wet to breaking. So you can see the top of the zip tie here. She still has her original strings. So they're not gone, but I'm actually securing her head closed with a zip tie. I did this when I uh, washed her body. And here we have the girls all cleaned and dressed up. It's funny how they're both in their meat outfits. My dolls usually don't wear their meat outfits, but that's just what she had been wearing for a picture and what I got her in. I do want to say that it is really important if you have an old doll, even if they don't look dirty, um, if you go to wash them, like their hair and their body, and their cloth torso gets wet, sometimes the dust from that collects inside their stuffing will actually cause like brown ring marks on the body. So especially on dolls with the white muslin bodies, that white is not forgiving, it's very thin, their torsos are actually really cheaply made. They have like super funny sockets and everything. I recommend if it's used all and if they're old or if you've had them on display a long time, you might as well just take apart their body and wash everything while you're restringing or while you're initially making them over because it's going to make your life a lot easier. I wish I had done that with my 80 Samantha because I cleaned her but I didn't think her torso needed to be cleaned and then I got ring marks and I ended up having to take her all apart again and clean the um, ring marks. So yeah, their bodies do collect dust which is why I washed Felicity. So I hope you enjoyed and that this video could help you out. This also works on Bitty Baby dolls. They are put together pretty much the same way. Instead of being strung though, their limbs are glued into the sockets, but you can definitely do this on them too. Or um, dolls that are similar to American Girl with the cloth bodies. As long as you can get into the body and um, disassemble the stuffing, you can wash it the same way. Stuffing is stuffing and cloth bodies are cloth bodies. So I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.